superheroes. Migo Maniacs, welcome to another edition of Migo Monday, a segment where I showcase my personal collection of Migo action figures. Uh, I want to start off by apologizing. Um, I was unable to upload this video um, last week. I was having some computer problems and it just wouldn't let me do it. Um, but everything's working great now. Uh, we are continuing in the Marvel Universe. And this week we have the Scarlet Witch and the Vision. So we'll start off with the Scarlet Witch. This is really a cool f character and a really, really cool figure. I'm not sure um, if this was a one-off custom or if this is something Mego actually made. Um, when I did purchase her, um, it did not come in a box. Um, it came in a Ziploc bag, but really um, a fantastic looking figure. Um, anyway, we'll take a look at the head sculpt. They got the head sculpt really nice. Um, the hair. They got the costume really, really nice. We'll come up. The gloves. The boots. Turn around. With the cape. And the hair. But, um, really a, really a cool figure. Um, super excited to have this, uh, to have her in my collection. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen another one like it. Like I said, I, I'm not sure if it's a one-off custom or if they actually did manufacture these. Um, maybe a logic blaster can leave a, uh, a comment and let me know. But anyway, a little backstory on the Scarlet Witch. Um, her name is Wanda Maximoff. She is a Russian. Um, she first made her appearance in the X-Men in 1964. She was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. A really, really a cool um, uh, character. Um, she is a witch. Uh, she has multiple powers. Uh, witchcraft. Um, she can bend time. She can bend space. Um, she can teleport. Just a whole... Um, variety of powers uh, that the Scarlet Witch um, has. And I know that she has been like reintroduced uh, through um, the Avenger movies. Um, I thought they did a really good job uh, portraying her. I um, thought they stayed pretty true to the character. And she did come um, with an accessory. She came with these, uh, these energy rings that attach to her hands. So I thought those were pretty cool. Um, I think these would even look, would work good with uh, Doctor Strange. But very cool. Um, like I said, a great figure. I'm really happy to have her in my collection. Like I said, I, I've never seen another one. They may be out there. I don't know. Um, but really cool. Really cool. Love the colors and they've got uh, her costume down just like from the Silver Age of comics. So now we go to the Vision. Again, I don't know if this is a one-off custom or if they actually uh, manufactured these because this guy has like an insane cape. It almost looks like it's homemade, but I'm not sure. But really, the colors, the detail is just dead on. We'll take a look at the head sculpt. Really a nice head sculpt. We'll go up. They got the, the details and the color of the costume just right. Um, really, a, really a magnificent cape, if you can see this. Just, it's, uh, it's pretty insane. Pretty insane. But really cool. Again, like I said, I don't think I've, I've seen another vision. Uh, I could be wrong, but just uh, you know, leave a comment, guys, and let me know. Um, a little backstory on the Vision. Uh, his name is the Vision, 
and he is um, a synthetic clone of the Human Torch. And Ultron got a hold of him, gave him much more advanced technology, um, gave him a new program, and then in time the Vision became self-aware. And in the beginning he was um, he was a villain. Uh, he first made his appearance in the Avengers in 1968, and he was a villain. But like I said, um, he did become self-aware, and then you know became uh, became a became a hero. Uh, he has he basically has the same powers as Superman. Um, he can fly. He has extraordinary super strength, and he can shoot um, uh, power beams from the crystal on his forehead. And he can phase in and out of um, solid objects, which is pretty cool. And again, um, he may, you know, they introduced him again back in the uh, Avenger movies. And I thought they did a pretty good job uh, portraying him. Uh, I thought they got the, the, uh, the costume and outfit uh, pretty, pretty dead on. But... A great figure, a great character. I, I was never really into the Vision um, when I was growing up. You know, I loved the Avengers and I loved X Men, and you know he would have appearances in a, in both those magazines. And you know I would enjoy watching them, but it wasn't something I went out and, and I bought just to just to see Vision. But again, really happy to have this guy in my collection. Um, don't know if. You'll see him again. Like I said, I don't know, but gotta love the uh, the color contrast. But that's it, guys. The Scarlet Witch and the Vision. Until next time, same Migo channel, same Migo time.